on again. Shoot, I keep leaving that damn live on. I could have been in here naked having an orgy with a whole lot of women. This is crazy. I did not know that. I'm, why do I keep leaving these lives on? Hi, Facebook. Hi, Instagram. I did not know. Instagram, be patient. I need to, I need to brighten my screen just a tad because I can't really see me. I know y'all want to see me, but I can't really see me. Are we back? Are we back, Instagram? Now, I came in uh, kind of nice, but I'm here to tell y'all all that I am not with the shits today. I am not with the shits today. Nope. I am not with it. Y'all have gotten on my nerves. All week. All week. Where do y'all come from? Where do y'all come from? I don't I don't understand y'all. I don't. I'm just out here trying to mind my business and help people out. Get their lives together. And y'all bothering me with all these questions about relationships that y'all are messing up. Y'all don't know who y'all are. You don't know yourselves. Facebook, Instagram. I'm so tired. So tired. You want to ask me about relationship and you ain't even got your bank accounts set up. Your baby daddy beat on you and you're back in his bed the next day. That's not my fault. Y'all trying to blame Dr. Devin for y'all's mistakes. You see my pants. Read the news. Read the news. The news is y'all are crazy. And I don't have the time for it. I don't have the time for it. Now I'm going to take a few callers tonight, but y'all better act right. Your asses best to act right. Have your Wi-Fi's together. Answer the phone. Don't be on here. I don't want to look at no ceiling fans. No popcorn ceilings. I'm not here for it. Because what you're not going to do is embarrass me on my own lie. What you're not going to do is come for me if I did not send for you. If I did not send for thee, don't come for me. That's not what we're doing today. That's not what we're doing today. You know what you're going to hear if you do that? No. Myself clearer. Have your own life right. Know what you're looking for. You want to date somebody? Have your own life right.
You ain't. When's the last time you cleaned the bottom of your refrigerator? When's the last time you cleaned that? Fruit just a molding and spoiling. When's the last time you cleaned the bottom of your refrigerator? Don't come telling Dr. Devin about what some woman or man needs to do for you in your life. When did you clean the, the inside of your washer and dryer? Just because it's a washer and dryer don't mean it don't need to be disinfected. It needs to be disinfected. Huh? It needs to be disinfected. You have to disinfect to it. Huh? Don't be talking about my sweater and the hanger marks in my... There are hanger marks in my sweater because it hangs. Because I have a closet. What do you have? Clean your closet. Don't, don't, don't none of y'all try me. Don't none of y'all try me today. Don't try me, walk by me. I'm going to take a caller. Facebook, you know the deal. If you want to see the whole show, you can pull it up on IG Live. So you can see the people that's calling in. If not, you can listen to it and watch the whole thing on my channel. On Atheon Crockett's channel, sorry. He's my manager. And I don't like him. I don't like him either. <sighs> All right, who's next? Who do we have today? Oh, yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to talk to people today. Oh, wow. So many people want to talk to the doctor. All I will say is have your shit together. Because what you're not going to do is piss me off. I'm just going to choose somebody around them. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, who's first, who's first, cancel, I'm going to cancel this heifer, I'm hanging up on her before she even has a chance to even be on, mm-hmm. Y'all not going to waste my time on her today. Y'all not going to waste my time. I have places to be. Understand that. I have places to be. What's up, man? No, what you're not going to do, no, what you're not going to do is get on her and have a whole nother face. No, 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 no. I don't even know what I was looking at. It looked like a three-year-old took a Sharpie to his face. I thought it was a woman that I was logging on to. Who is that? Whose account are you on, sir? Whose account are you on? Get your own. Get your own. I don't have the time. I don't have it. I am like Prince in Purple Rain. I don't have the time. I don't want the time. Now, who is next?
Don't be playing on my live. I'm not here for the games. Don't make me play no games, because I'm not here for the games. Who is next? Do not send me a request if you're not talking to me. Facebook, I wish I could get on live with y'all. But Facebook feds have me blocked on there, so I cannot talk to y'all like I want to. But you Instagram niggas, have your Wi-Fi's together. Still waiting. Still waiting. 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 Hello? <laughs> Uh-oh. Hello? Yes? What's wrong with your phone? I don't know. It's making me so mad, too. Can you see me? It's, that, you're not the only person that is making mad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I just have a question. So why is it so hard dating in your 30s? So I'm divorced and I have a son. He's seven. Is that the reason? Because I'm divorced and I have a son. What else is wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. That, th therein lies your problem. It's you, not. you think you think you're perfect. I I mean I'm not perfect, but so what else is wrong with you? Nothing. Maybe I need to just get out there and date more. Who are you dating? Obviously, the wrong type of guys. I'm where, where, to the wrong who's the type last person you dated, and where did you find him? Okay, so the last person I dated was a guy that I. Um, met in high school. We went to high school together. We ended up reconnecting. And it, and you had it, sex with him? <sighs> yes, I did. <laughs> in what time frame did you have this sex with him? Oh, it was like, it took years. And I know that's not normal, but like, we, <laughs> we didn't get sexual until like years after, you know, being, you know, talking to each other cordially on and off. Hold on. So it took you years to have sex with somebody that you already knew. Yeah, we just wasn't there yet. Like, yeah. How, how long does it take to get there? It, it doesn't take long, but just with that particular situation, you know, it just, you know. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it a buck fifty with you. Um, Within those years that you were waiting to have sex with him, who else were you having sex with? I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I know that's my problem. I'm looking at your comments. I know. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. You were, a lot, a, you were lying about don't what? want commitment too. I, he didn't want commitment with me. He didn't want. He didn't want commitment. Commitment with anyone. So why, after all these years, I'm sure you knew he didn't want commitment after all those years. Why did you decide to give up the what? But see, then <laughs> a man who didn't want to commit to you and your little son. Okay, I get it. I get it. No, you don't get it. That's why. That's why you're single in your thirties with a son, and divorced, and giving up what years after you already knew this nigga didn't want you. So I guess I figured out what else is wrong with you. You have really bad judgment. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take it. Thank you. Okay. All right, good night. All right, good night. She was lying her ass off. Now, I don't know what boat 
she thinks I fell off of. But she was lying. <clears throat> she fought that man on the first day. Let's just go ahead and call it what it is. She fucked that man on the first go round and then brought that little naughty headed little boy in front of that man. I was like, this your new daddy. And that man said, bitch. Billie Jean is not my lover. And the kid is not my son. That's what that man said to her. I don't understand y'all. Y'all do dumb shit. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Who's next? Who wants to talk next? Um, if I already called on you, don't come back. Don't you come back. <clears throat> I'm waiting, waiting. Have your Wi-Fi's together. Waiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all declining now. Y'all scared. Y'all scared to jump on and let the good doctor tell you about yourself. That's your problem. You're scared. Scared, scared, all of the above and below. All of the above and below. You're scared. Her, the, the. Y'all are your own problems. Hi. How you doing, doctor? How you doing? Hold on. How you doing? Hi. What the hell? What, why are you dancing? Because I'm happy to see you. Why are you cooking Cause on I'm the live? Because I can't help it when you with this when you decided to call me. Who are you hey. cooking for? For me. And who else? And my belly. You have a plate for me? I do have a plate for you. Yes. Matter of fact, this is your burger. What hey, are you cooking? I'm cooking a burger with sourdough bread. Hey. Um, I hear I hear children in the background. My daughter wants to say hi. Hi. Okay, bye. Hi, beautiful baby girl. How are you? She gone. She gone. But what you're not gonna do is lie to me because you say you was in there by yourself, and I do not want to be on her before. with no lying ass burger maker. She said she was in there cooking. You are not cooking nothing. You are making burgers. That is not cooking. You teach that little baby girl what real cooking look like. Season the meat. Marinate the steak. Saute the vegetables. She in there patty cake. That ain't cooking. You not cooking. I asked her two times, who are you cooking for? Who are you cooking for? She said, me. You see what y'all do? You try to get cute. You try to get cute. Huh? And I'm asking you the question of the day. Who are you cooking for? 
She dancing, got her titties all out. Who are you, who are you cooking for? She said, me. <laughs> I said, I asked, who are you cooking for? My belly. <laughs> I said, who are you cooking for? And then along come a little doll baby. Hi, Dr. Devin. Oh, hey, baby girl. Your mama's a liar. Your mother's a liar. And she cannot cook. You cannot cook. All I heard in the, in the sizzle of that skillet was this. This all I heard in the sizzle of that skillet. is not cooking you are heating up at best what are you doing y'all are trying me today trying me do not try me Walk by me, because I'm not the one or the two. <clears throat> waiting, waiting. Talk about she cooking. For me, for my belly. She is the little old woman that lived in the shoe. She probably lived in a Timberland boot with a shitload of adorable babies. That baby was adorable. That baby does not deserve them burgers. Them burgers gonna be mean to that baby's stomach. Make her some vegetables. Make her some vegetables. Some vegetables. Saute some kale for the baby. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm, I can't see you is how I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm sitting in the car. With my man and my cousin. <laughs> we just laughing at y'all. So what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> so look, I'm 32. And my honey here, we going on six years. He be 24 this year. Mm -hmm. And I just want to know why people find it ha so hard to believe like that having that much of an age gap with an older woman. Wait, how old work. are you? I'm 32. And he is 24? He'll be 24. So he's 23 and you are? 32. Th <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's not hard to believe. It's not hard to believe. You know why it's not hard to believe? Because that young man over there is knocking your box out with young dick. <laughs> Hurry up. The young man has a strong back, and you knew that when you oh walked in to his ass. The oh man Lord. looked like Nipsey Hussle, and you said, come and gang bang my pussy meat. Oh, my God. 
I mean, you are so right about that. Like, I'm not. Clearly, I am. <laughs> but <laughs> that's my homie. Like, he's my best friend. Like, he he, he better be. <laughs> he better be, because he is knocking your box out. <laughs> He is young Mike Tyson Pacquiao in your box. I get it. <laughs> y'all are in y'all are in the, the wonder years of your lives. Enjoy yourself. Man, what? Yes. You gotta tell me again. Just learn. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Loving it. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Bye. Y'all drive safely because I can tell y'all high as fuck and driving <laughs> all swerved over in the car. Mm-hmm. I don't mind seeing young love. I don't. It, I will allow it. But she knows she cougared that young man. She cougared him. I bet he got the scratches on his back to prove it. She walked in whatever club they was at when they met. And she said, give me that young tender meat. Pull up on me. Pull up on me. See, that's some of your problem now. Some of you ladies, that's your problem now. You judging. Every man that come off, oh, he too young. He can't do nothing for me. You see, you see what she at in the person decide. Getting the the dust knocked off her pussy box. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Who's next? <clears throat> Wait. Hello. Hello. I just want to say you're doing an amazing job. I actually went live with Kevin Samuels like a couple days ago, and you're doing a really who? good job. I'm sorry. I don't know who that is. My bad. My bad. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't know who you. What, so what I do you want? That is. But how, how are you? How are you? I am amazing. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so this is therapy Thursdays, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's see. Um okay. So I need advice on how how do you know a guy doesn't want well, why doesn't a guy want to commit to you? So like I was in this situation. The guy said he was traumatized from his last relationship, right? But he kind of made me feel like I was in a relationship with him, even though he never said that we were. So why do guys Okay, pause, pause, right, girl. Okay. If he never said we are in a relationship. Right. How did you arrive at we are in a relationship? No, I'm saying I head? felt like I didn't, I'm not saying. Hold I on, did. hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Let's deal with the facts. If that nigga never said, y'all are in a relationship. Right. How did you arrive at, I feel like we are in a relationship? I felt that way, but I knew it wasn't that. He was giving me, I want you vibes. I want to commit vibes, but never said it. So I knew it wasn't that. I just, he just did things to make me feel like we were going to get there. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Um, calling me his girl, flowers, gifts, introducing me wow, to his wait. family. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He called you his girl in what context and where? Um, in front of his family, his friends. Coworkers. He said, "This is, this is my girlfriend." Or no, he, he said, say, this, this hey, is my girl. Hey, this is my girl. So and so. This is my girl. Yeah, and you know, in this generation, they girl, boo, whatever. 
there's something missing from this story. What are you not telling me? What you mean something missing from the story? So why why is he not? He ain't never said y'all in a relationship, yet he's saying this my girl and blah, blah, blah. So whenever he said this my girl, why did you not pull him aside and say, oh, are we together? Why you ain't oh, pull I knew him we aside? Weren't. Yes, I did. I did. I did. And, and, and then what? He ain't what want happened? no relationship. He what? He didn't want no relationship. He didn't want a relationship. Okay, so how long after you knew he didn't want a relationship did you keep on fucking him? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hey, so, okay, we we being real, right? right. We grown yeah. people on on the phone, right? You are. What, else, what else are we being? I think you need to be a little more real with yourself and everyone else. I think so too. Good advice. Um. Okay. So, so how long me, after he told you y'all not in a relationship? Did it was you a while. Was him? The, it was a while because I was attached. It was a while. Oh, so he had he was slanging it good to you. <laughs> I'm not giggling. Oh my goodness. No, oh, oh, oh his goodness. That's that's what you was attached to. Oh, his goodness. <laughs> he was banging your back out. And you was attached. Okay. All right. Okay, that's all the advice you got for me. No, I haven't even gotten to the advice yet. Okay. Cause you're not telling me the whole story. I am. I just said. I just said it. I'm agreeing with you. Yes, 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 and yes. Yeah, it's because you got on and you didn't. You didn't want to be real with me. And when I asked you how long you kept fucking the man, you got all ho, 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 like you never heard the word, or <laughs> have ever done the act. Okay. So until you be real with yourself and stop just giving it up to a nigga that you know don't want you, then you, you will get a nigga that's going to want you. I feel you. Stop giving up the cookie to niggas that only want vegetables. Got you. All right. Have a good night. Bye. You <laughs> see. Facebook, I'm going to talk to y'all for a second. I just, I don't, I don't understand what these niggas on Instagram are talking about right now. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. How you just going to keep giving your pussy box up to a man that says, I don't fully want you. Now, if you're just having fun and you just want to get fucked every now and then, then by all means, give your pussy to her. It's your pussy. You do what you want with it, right? But if you want the relationship from the man and he done told you no. 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 Every time she asks him a no. question. No. Are we together? No. Are we dating? No. Am I your girl? No. Uh, can we go? No. Can we get married? No. I, I, uh, no. Can we? No. Am I your? No. Uh, do you love me? No. Uh, are you, no. No. Am I lying? Where, where is the lie? Matter of fact, I need everyone on Facebook and Instagram. I need eyeballs, all eyeballs in the comments right now. If you help me find the lie, where is the lie? Where is the lie? Where is the lie? I can't find it.
searching, searching, searching. Where's the lie? I don't have much more time to be dealing with y'all today. I don't. I'm gonna take a couple more callers because right now what seems to be happening is y'all stupid. That's what I'm seeing. Y'all stupid. And I have no advice for stupid, okay? I don't have it. So, who's next? <clears throat> hey, Devin Santos. Brother Devin Santos. My guy, Devin Santos. Hi. Been a long time. Been a long time. How are you? Not long enough. What do you want? Why are you back on my live? You know, it's been a I long time. And look, let I me tell you something. The last time. Let me tell you something. When you say Pacific time, I'm on Eastern time. You have to say all the time. You have to say Pacific time, Central time, and um, Eastern time. You have to say it all. You can't just say Pacific time and, and say only your time. You know what I'm saying? But that's besides the point, okay? There is no point, clearly. It's fine. No worries. So my problem right now is I can't find a, 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 a good woman. You know? I can't find a good woman. And I need, I need your help. Last time, you took my money. You took my money and didn't give me the good advice. This time, I want good advice. Okay? What happened to the last woman you were trying to scam? Do I look Bullet like a scammer? Do, do, do I look like a scammer? Do, do I look like a scammer? I'm far from scamming. Hmm? I'm, I'm far from a scammer. Hmm? Okay, look. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best to help you out tonight. Okay? Talk to, me. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. What type of woman are you looking for and where have you been looking? Let me see what type of woman, like like physical woman. Okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you what kind of woman I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm looking for a thick woman. I'm looking for a very thick woman. T i c k, thick. I want her to be thick, well shaped, like Coke bottle. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Let, let me. I'm gonna try to bring a young woman on, and see if we can can make a connection tonight. Because you keep coming through my live. And um, I, I just want to see if there's a brave enough woman that wants to come on her mm -hmm. and, and make sure she's you. make sure she's thick. If she's not thick, I don't want it. I'll tell you this right now. Well, look here, sir. I cannot control what they look like from their avatars. I don't know what you. I am not a magic magician. Hola. Uh oh. How are you? Hi, Devin. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, how are you? I'm, I'm doing good. good. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. So, are you thick? With a cup of tea. I'm not really thick, but I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle from being skinny and being thick. I'm, I'm schmick. Yeah. Well, my friend her is looking for a woman. And I wanted y'all to have the opportunity to talk with each other and see what, what if is, a love connection here. Okay. Smick. What, smick, what, smick. That's smick. Right in the middle from uh, thick and little. Smick. Yeah. Thick and little. Devin Sanders, what do you think? Because look, I'm looking for a capital T. Thick. T I C K. Uh, I can be thick. I, I can be e. thick. E. <laughs> Devin Sandals, you, Devin Sandals, you have to. What do you think? What do you think? Oh no! Look at his face. Oh no! 
Oh, no. I what I think is mm -hmm. you have to talk to her and ask her questions. What kind of food does she like? Where does she like to go on dates? Where is she from? Okay. What her mama's name is? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, oh, excuse me, mom. What is your name? Yes. My name is Ebony. Evan. Okay, I'm going to call you. No, Evan. no, no, Ebony. Abinette. Okay, okay, Abinette. Um, so I want to ask you a question, okay? Okay. Um, if I want to come to the States uh -huh. and I say I want to marry you just to come to the States, will you accept that bargain? Yes. <laughs> I'm not here for the scams. Don't come here with it. I don't know how he always sneaks into my life. I don't understand how he always does that. I don't have the time. He couldn't even get her name right. Ebonette. He needs to just have a, he should just take up a career in dancing somewhere. Because that's all he's doing is dancing around the truth. He's a scammer. And nothing but. Hi. So you hung up on you hung, up my, you hung up on me last week, but it's not about me this time. So, my cousin... I hung up on you last week for what? Wait, 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 wait. My cousin, he's late. Yeah. I guess you got hung up on again. I guess you got hung up on again. All right, time's running out. I want to help somebody. I'm trying to help somebody. Hello, how are you? I am fantastic. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. So I have a general question. Um, well, actually, not even a question. A situation that I'm going through at the moment. My fiance tells me that he wants to now have a polygamous relationship. And mm. I am not okay with that. What can I do? Like, I don't want to lose him. But I also don't want to see him with another woman while with me. And how long have y'all been together? Four years. And how long has it been since you've known that he likes a whole lot of main courses on his plate? <laughs> <laughs> He's right is he there. girl? Is that, is that him, girl? Yeah, oh, this is him. Shit. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing fantastic, and apparently you are too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm young. You know, we just trying to live the life, and you just I trying think to I'm juggle vaginas. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, mean? I get it. You just trying to live your life and bask in vaginas. Yeah, of all <laughs> shapes and sizes. I mean, I just think honestly, like. I feel like a lot of people in our communities, we do it anyways. I didn't grow up with my daddy. He had many women. A lot of us in the community don't grow up with daddies. They have many women. Like, you know, like, let's do it. You know what so I mean? So you just want to be honest and say, hey, look, I don't want to yeah. cheat on you. I want to exactly. let you know yes. that I am polyamorous. Yes. Yes. Now, baby girl, mm -hmm. the man has been truthful with you. Mm -hmm. Which I... You have I, an option. Of course. Of saying that doesn't work for me and getting your Wi Fi together. See how easy that was? I didn't even have to finish my statement because her Wi Fi is trash.
I will say this. If, if I was mad before I got on this live today, I'm even more mad. Some of y'all just being stupid. If you don't want to be with a man that wants a whole bunch of vaginas, then don't be with the man. But if you want, if you don't want to lose him, just understand that there's gonna be vaginas around. Satellite vaginas. They gonna hover around your moon. And that's all I have to say about that. <clears throat> Who's next? I have time for maybe two more people. Maybe. Because so far, I have not helped not one person today. Because y'all are coming on her with trash. Trash problems. Who is next? Who is next? I hope I don't have to hang up on no one else. But it could happen. It could happen. <clears throat> Hi, Facebook. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm well, thank you. Uh, where are you driving to and why? <laughs> I'm driving back home. I picked my son up from daycare and I went to Chick-fil-A and now we're on our way back home. So why are you on the phone while you are driving <laughs> watching me? Do you, that's not safe. Well, it's a little bit of traffic and I can't miss Therapy Thursdays. Like, that's a no-no. So, yeah. Well, I appreciate the support. Yeah. I truly do. <laughs> but what do you want? Yeah, no, no. That's a no, no. Okay. I want to get some advice um, going through a divorce after like 10 years of marriage. And I got married really young, like right out of college. So I don't know what to expect with the dating scene. And I need some tips because um, I'm a little old school, so I need to know, like, what to do as far as navigating the dating space. Well, what do you want out of the dating space? What are you looking for? Are you looking for a good time, or are you looking for a stepfather for your baby? First, I'm looking for a good time as far as laughs go, yes. Like, with your, maybe your man. Yeah, yeah. What you're looking for is a Wi-Fi provider in your car. That's what you want. Is a Wi-Fi provider in your car. Therapy and driving is dangerous. It's dangerous. And your baby's in the back seat. What the hell is wrong with you? That's why you can't find a man. That's why you can't find a man. Because you're going to put him and, uh, and all your babies and everybody in jeopardy watching me. But I appreciate the support. I really do. I truly do. Who's next? <clears throat> mm hmm Somebody scurred. Somebody declining me. Mm-hmm. I see what it is. Y'all ain't got to be scared. Y'all scared and scurried at the same time. Be ready, because if you send a request and you're thinking, oh, he ain't never going to pick on me, he's never going to pick me, I'm going to pick you. I'm going to pick you. Exactly. I'm going to pick you. And exactly what that's going to happen. Ceiling fan. Popcorn ceilings. I 
I have time for one more individual. One more. One. And you better pick your phone up. <clears throat> don't, why y'all scared of me? I don't understand why y'all so scared of me. I, can, I am harmless. I am harmless. I can't do nothing to you. Why y'all scared of me? Be scared of your choices. Be scared of your choices in life. Hello? Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm waiting. All right, one more person. The last one ain't have her Wi-Fi together. Nope. Waiting. I'm going to pick on one more person. And we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see what the Wi-Fi gods tell us. Mm-hmm. Another skirt. Another skirt. Another one buys the dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one buys the dust. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick you. Don't request me and think I won't pick you, because I'm, I'm going to pick you. Well, hello. Hey. First off, I am not scared. I am in my car, but I have a good reason. My son is getting a haircut, because he's graduating tomorrow. High school, so. Hello, handsome. The, look, don't come for me. It is not about me. That is, listen, that's a compliment. I know I'm going to get one in turn, so I okay. know I'm handsome. I, I understand. Okay. What do you want? I want to say hello. I want to I, I respect the um, lady earlier that was asking the question. I'm a little different. I have a high schooler that's about to graduate. Um, I work in the entertainment industry, so I don't necessarily like or go for the people that I'm around, so. So what do you want? I would like to know what do you think is a good way for a woman in the entertainment industry to get a decent man without necessarily having to go in her field? Leave you know what they say, stay on your level, all that kind of stuff, but you don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't listen to what they say because they are crazy. Well, thank you. I'll take it. And they it. are stupid. Okay. Um, Baby girl, all you have to do is uh, leave work at work. That's fair. Don't bring work home. Okay. So if you don't want entertainment industry type of uh, uh, gentleman, then uh, go to Home Depot. Hey, listen, I'll take a builder. So what's... I, I don't understand what the problem is. I like that. But you know what? I, I respect what you said because, like you said, take everybody else out and just pick who you like. And I'll take that. So who's, when's the last time you dated someone? Um, actually, about three years ago. I was three a, years ago? Yeah, I was in a relationship for five years. So I don't just jump back into relationships. Okay. That's for, did you heal? I did heal. I did heal. How and did I you heal? Off on a, I, I, left, I left on a good term. I didn't do nothing wrong, so I'm very healed. Okay, but you had to be heartbroken over the relationship. You had to heal from something. No, nope, honestly, I think because I already knew we was going to break up. Sometimes you just let things go a little bit longer than they were supposed to. But we were okay. We we're actually okay. For the, you know, it's kind of nice. Okay, well, I don't think you have you do you don't have any issue. You don't need me. You you have your shit together. Well, I thank you, doctor. 
I, I appreciate the hearing that from you, though. Now I can go out in the street and say I got my shit together because Dr. Devin told me. Yeah, I put on your cape and go go swing it. Go swing it and slang it. Do whatever you need to do. Have fun with your life. I your little boy is in high that. school. That means you are empty nester. Yeah, Let it all hang out. Norfolk University. My baby is gone that, as of August. Oh, he's gone. You can walk around your house with your titties out, ass out. Don't shave your armpits. Live your life. Live you my life. Me. Thank you. Well, I appreciate the call. Thank you for taking me. Yes. All right. Have a good one. Drive safely. <laughs> Bye. She just walked. She was trying to holler. I know that I'm a very, very handsome man, and she just wanted to holler. That, that's really what that was about. And this is not about me. This is not a dating service for Dr. Devin, okay? She wanted to holler. She wanted to look all in my face. I get it. I look in my face every day. Every day. It's hard to resist. And that is not humility. I'm, I am very arrogant. I understand that about myself. But I am real with me. <clears throat> One more person. And you better pick up. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm well. How are you? I'm okay. I just got off work. Tired. Okay. Where do you work? I'm a hairstylist in Miami. Okay. So how can I help you today? So I have been dating someone for 11 years, broke up, and recently started dating someone online. It's long distance. How can I bring this man over here without trying to force it? I think you left out about half a book's worth of uh, information. Uh, <laughs> First of all, why you dated someone for 11 years, were you uh, married to this person? Dated, proposed, then got cheated on. How long before the proposal? How long did you date before the proposal happened? 11 years. Yeah. <laughs> um, hold on. Baby girl, why would you date a nigga for 11 years and because wait for it, huh? I was, it was my first time in love. I didn't know any better. I was only 20. He but was then you a was, good man. He was. But your whole entire <laughs> 20s was spent with this nigga. Yep. That's right. <laughs> so at no point in these 20s did you say to yourself, this nigga don't really want to marry me. In year five. Not really, because I was not looking for marriage. I just wanted to have a good time. Now I'm in my 30s, and I'm like, okay, now I want a ring. Now I want the children. I was more focused on financials and building my business. Okay, so now you have an online, long-distance relationship. Yep. <laughs> How did you meet this person? Where online did you meet him? And what makes you feel like... You want to bring him here to the States? Where does he live? He's in the States. He lives in L.A. I'm in Miami. And you want to bring to be him? a very busy man. You want to bring him from L.A. to Miami? Yes. Why? Because he hasn't showed up here. I don't know what else to say to bring this man over here. He's always very busy. Oh, so, so you, okay, okay. Baby girl, leave this nigga. First of all, you're not <laughs> together in the first place. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that Delete the app. Whatever the fuck it is that you use to meet this nigga, delete it. Delete right. the number. Um, Ain't no right. nigga gonna get flued out to know Miami on your dime or your time. Oh, not my dime, honey. Not at all. <laughs> But and listen here, all that busy shit, listen, I'm the busiest man in the world. I so see that. here's the thing. If a man wants to get at you, he going to pick up that phone. 
Thank he gonna you. text me. He gonna be like, "Hey, hey, good morning, good morning, good morning." Hello. That's a fact. That's true. How's your day? Yeah, hey, this sexy. sounds like a catfish episode, as I can see in the comments. Well, I'm not. <laughs> stop paying attention to the comments. You look at me right here. Right there. Okay. Stop doing stupid shit. I got you. Stop doing stupid shit. I'll try. I'll try. You are in Miami. It's plenty of niggas out there. Just go uh, on, on the boardwalk. Go to South Beach. <laughs> okay. But Miami niggas ain't really, you know, dedicated. Every one man has uh, like three Neither girlfriends. is that LA uh, long distance nigga either. Clearly. Oh, oh, you said it. You said it. No, it was right. the 11-year nigga. So, I mean, at this point, you have surrounded yourself with uh, uh, non-dedicated niggas. I'm just saying. I don't know. Is it me? Is it them? I just... Mm -mm. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. It's me. I fucked up. I fucked up. That's why I needed you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going I'm to tell you this. Before the night is old, go into the mirror. Okay. Okay. Do your hair as pretty as you want it to be tonight. Do your hair. You are a hairstylist. Do your hair. Okay. <laughs> Do your face. Okay. Okay. Look yourself in the mirror with your naked body and say, bitch, you are the baddest on the planet. Oh. Don't hey, accept ooh. anything less than the best. Hallelujah. I agree. I agree. I do too, because I know everything, and you're going to get off my line. Go do what I tell you to do. Go. <laughs> so what did y'all learn this evening, children, women? Stop giving up the cookie to niggas that want broccoli. <laughs>